Hey, and welcome to the video course on creating responsive offline deals. This is video number one, the introduction to creating responsive offline deals, or in other words, how to convert your offline deals a lot better. Whether you're trying to sell any type of service, marketing services, SEO services, ad creation, video creation, any type of services, I'm gonna show you how to do it all without having to sell. I hate selling, in fact, and selling is not always about hard selling, and you don't have to be a salesman. In fact, if you're not a salesman, then this is going to be for you, and you're going to like it, because a lot of times i found is you learn how to do offline marketing or offline deals, but you once you close the sale, it's actually very, very hard to do if you don't know exactly how to do it. So through my experiences and through my failures and through some of my successes, you get to learn exactly how to do it. In fact, I don't like selling. I like teaching. And teaching is really what it comes down to. Now, let me give you a quick overview of the whole video series as a whole so that you can understand everything, how it pieces together, and so forth. Of course, this is video number one. Video number two is knowing the objections and the complaints beforehand. If you understand what the general complaints or objections that companies will say, because I guarantee you that when you are trying to offer you know, your service, people are going to bring up objections, not necessarily complaints against you, but objections and possibly complaints from other services. So you got to keep in mind that a lot of offline companies have gone through SEO companies and, and so forth. So like the words SEO and things like that have a bad rep because of somebody else. So you're kind of like the next person in line and you need to know these objections before you can actually close a deal. Video number three, we're going to talk about conversions. Start with conversions and then traffic. I see more and more, a lot of people make the mistake about going into offline marketing and then they are trying to approach the company and say, hey, I'll build you a hundred backlinks, blah, blah, blah. Now, most companies do not care about the latest and greatest kind of backlinking or SEO marketing. All they care about is results. And what I found was most companies, they lack in conversions. In, in fact, their website or their system or anything like that, they're just not converting. So when somebody walks through the door, they're just not converting the sale. So it starts with conversions and then it goes with traffic. We'll talk more about that in video three, but pay close attention because a lot of people make the mistake with trying to drive traffic and don't fo you know focus on conversions, which is a huge, huge thing. Video number four, we're going to talk about where to find potential responsive companies. Not all the companies that you're going to approach are going to be responsive to you. In fact, the whole goal of this is to show you how to find responsive companies, and then how to you know, close that deal with that responsive company. Now, when I say responsive company, I'm talking about companies that want to hire you. You know, not every company wants to hire you. A lot of companies want traffic. A lot of companies want leads. But I found that a lot of companies need a lot of hold, you know, handholding. And it's just... It's just waste a lot of time. So what you're looking for is you're looking for companies that are attempting in some way to use, you know, marketing, YouTube, Facebook, and this and that. So if you, if you can find these types of companies, then the probability of them wanting to hire you is a lot greater. Video number five, we're going to talk about getting your foot in the door. Once you find those responsive companies, then what? Video number six, we're going to talk about outsourcing your conversion materials, such as your ads, your videos, and so forth. Outsourcing is probably one of the most important things, not the most, but one of the most important things, because I guarantee you, once you start 
doing well for one company, he's going to tell his friend or she's going to tell her friend and you're just going to get a lot more business and you're, you're not going to be able to handle most of the stuff. And that's what I found with running my offline company is that. Video number seven, we're going to talk about how to avoid positioning yourself as a cheap service. I made the mistake one time of offering free services to a local you know, company, a local moving company. And I tell you what, you know, it was a great experience and I really enjoyed the time with them. But when it came time to discuss about, you know, money and what they're going to pay me, because I offered to do like the first campaign for free, just kind of to prove myself, they wanted to pay me $15 an hour. And that, as you know, just does not cut it, you know, with the services that we can provide. Uh, so, the whole idea with this video is to, um, so that you don't make the same mistake that I made and you avoid positioning yourself as kind of desperate. You don't want to sh tell people, hey, I'm desperate. I'm willing to do all this stuff for free so that you give me you know, a job. You just don't want to do that. In fact, it's kind of funny, not trying to get on a tangent here, but it's kind of funny. This guy, he runs a company and he called me in. You know, he was he was thinking that he was doing me a favor because he runs his moving company to make me like help with this move and pay me like ten to fifteen dollars an hour. Of course, to me that was an insult, but you're gonna learn exactly how to avoid doing that so that you don't make the same mistake that I made. So that's the quick overview and the tools that you're gonna need. You're not gonna need any tools. All you need is the internet, just a few tools. You're going to need confidence in yourself. You need to be passionate about what you do because you're going to teach it. And you need the ability to teach and share. So I'd say those two things are probably the biggest things in terms of success in this arena is if you can teach it and you love what you do, you, people are going to see that and offline companies are going to see that. And it's just going to make it so much easier to sell. Or in other words, close the offline deal. So with that, so let's go ahead and move on to video number two and talk about the objections that companies would have.